Hello, welcome to my channel. This is where I share with you my painting experience. I hope you enjoy the video and if you do, please help my channel grow by giving me a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button. Today I'm painting a branch of lemons on a purple tree. Lemons are a nice subject to paint. They've got a beautiful full roundness to them. They've got a little dip at one end where the branch attaches and I don't know what the little bud is at the other end. I don't really know much about lemons. I just like to paint them because they're full of texture and lovely um, yellow color. Yellow is one of my favorite colors actually. And then they've got these beautiful thick green leaves um, that are shiny as well and of course there's the stem that's interesting to paint and I've put these on a um, purple tray purple being complementary to yellow it always looks good together doesn't it I did a sketch on tracing paper transferred it to my canvas panel and then decided to use a paint pen to um, reinforce the colour a little bit because I didn't think that the sketch was clear enough. I have a palette of acrylic paints and my colours are titanium white, cadmium yellow light, raw sienna, raw amber, French ultramarine blue, sap green and alizarin crimson. I'm mixing raw sienna, cadmium yellow light and a little titanium white and I'm going to block in the lemons first of all. I usually do the stems first but hey, today I'm doing something different. I call this my mid-tone. Um, it's the colour between the light and the shadow. And it's how I usually paint uh, almost everything. I put in that colour, the mid-tone first, and then I add all my lights and darks as I go along and I'm constantly adjusting them. The paint pen has given me um, a good start to my stems and leaves but I'm using sap green to go over them. I've decided that the light is coming from the right and um, so everything on the left will be a little bit darker in shadow and um, I'm using basically the sap green. I'll mix some cadmium yellow light and possibly some uh, titanium white to make it opaque and uh, I'll do the shadow side in st either straight titanium uh, either straight sap green or sap green mixed with French ultramarine blue to make it even darker that's pretty much how I always do my leaves I should say too that I almost always use a flat brush and stroke the leaves in from the outer edge in toward that center vein 
Um, I know some people use rounds and I have been known to use a round especially on rose leaves but um, I like to paint for, with uh, flat brushes and wherever I can. I just find it um, it suits my style of painting I suppose. With a small round I'm going to paint in the purple tray and I get my purple with um, alizarin crimson, French ultramarine blue and titanium white. That gives a, a nice shade depending on what um, red you put in. If you put in uh, cadmium red for instance you'd get a different shade of purple. Um, so you can uh, mix here and you don't need to buy it in a tube. Although with acrylics you can get almost every colour you ever dreamed of. It already mixed. Once I have all my uh, painting blocked in with the mid-tone, it's a matter of adjusting highlights and shadows. And um, I also will um, try to get texture in there, especially on lemons. They've got a very um, bumpy, leathery sort of skin, haven't they? Um, so I'll use a bristle brush to try and um, show that. But from here on out, um, basically, I'm adjusting um, lights and darks. I'm putting in a table top and um, I'm just using raw sienna for that. And I'll add either raw umber or maybe some alizarin crimson just to give it a little brightness. Alizarin Crimson is one of my favourite colours and I'm always trying to get that into my paintings. I feel it adds a liveliness. I just used raw umber to put a shadow under the tray to seat it on the table. Without that um, shadow, um, it looks like it's floating in midair. The other thing I need, because this is a wooden table and slightly polished, I'm going to put in um, a reflection of the tray and of the lemons. Uh, stroke the paint on um, horizontally and then use a brush to pull the um, paint downwards. Um, it, it just improves the illusion of, an, of a reflection. 
I like my paintings to have a thick layer of paint on them. Sometimes I use a gel medium to give me that impasto effect. Um, but mostly I find when I'm painting with acrylics, they are quite a thick paint anyway, unless you get the, um, the um, what do they call that, the fluid uh, paint. It's a soft bodied paint. Um, these, I'm using paints from a tube and they are a little bit thicker and they suit my style better than the um, soft bodied paints. When I'm using, or when I'm trying to paint um, abstracts, I like to use the soft bodied paint.
I'm using this old bristle brush. It's a large round. I don't know what number it is. I've had it for so many years. Um, and raw sienna. And I'm trying to get that sort of um, effect that lemons have. It's almost like they have pores. You know what I mean? Like little tiny microscopic dimples, which I couldn't paint one by one, but sort of putting it on with a bristle brush sort of works. And I'll go over that too, so that you won't um, see the roughness of it. Because although they've got those dimples, lemons are quite smooth. Oh, shiny, aren't they? Quite often, as in this case, I'll mess up uh, the outline of something, a leaf or these lemons, and um, I'll have to go over and smooth that out. I always think there's nothing that you can't somehow correct in painting. I never, it never bothers me if I make a mistake. I don't even like to call them mistakes, especially when you're painting with acrylics because it's so easy to paint over something with acrylic. I've painted over whole patches of paintings where I've liked maybe one quarter and repainted the rest of the painting. You can't make mistakes when you're painting with acrylics and it's pretty hard to do when you're painting with water mixable oils which is another medium that I like to paint with. I think the background is too dull and have decided to put on some sort of yellowish green paint just to brighten it up a little bit. I only put it on quite roughly and I'll use a um, powder brush to um, blend it.
I think the table looks livelier now it has some alizarin on there and I have to adjust my leaves because in painting or readjusting that background I did lose the outline and they do look better if they're a little crisper but as I say when you're painting with acrylics you don't have to worry about these things you can just paint over and it'll be all right. Well that's it really for painting lemons. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to see more of my videos. That helps my channel grow and I'd appreciate it if you could find time to do that. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. <music>